Okay, we moved ourselves to channel 2's input, and um, we just zeroed ourselves, and uh, we have a 20 millivolt signal um, once again established on the lowest scale. We're running 5 millivolts per division. So when I kick this thing on, I am reading full scale, 4 divisions up, 20 millivolts. Uh, which is where I want to be. Now if I raise my uh, my scale to 10 millivolts per division check my zero I am two divisions up and I can uh, go ahead and take myself up to 40 millivolts per division little touchy. That's about 40 there. Um, looking at my running 39.3. 40.0 right there. So we are full scale. And uh, that's good. Go to 20 millivolts per division. Uh, once again check our zero. We are two divisions up which is what we should be. 40 millivolts coming in. 20 times 2 is 40. Okay, let's go ahead and raise ourselves to um, 80. We'll go full scale here on there and we should see 80 millivolts being displayed and we do. Alright, go to 50 millivolts per division. We see the familiar one and a half roughly uh, divisions and we're going to take it up to um, Full scale. I'd say that's it. Uh, we are 50 millivolts per division times 4 would be 200 millivolts and we are 200.1. Alright, let's go to 0.1 uh, volts per division. We are two divisions up. We should be. Uh, let's go ahead and raise it to full scale. That's full scale, and I am running 399, so 0.4 volts would be right, because that's 0.1 per division times 4 is 0.4 volts. Let's go to uh, 0.2 volts per division. Uh, check the zero, put her back on. We are two divisions up, exactly where we should be. And let's uh, go ahead and raise her full. That's full scale, that'd be 800 millivolts, and we are reading uh, 807, so we're close enough. 0.5 volts uh, per division, we see the one and a half divisions again. Let's go ahead and raise her to two, and uh, put ourselves at two. Let's see, we are two right about there. So we should be reading one volt. Uh, we are reading 1.02 volts, so two hundredths of a volt off, not bad. Go to one volt per division. We are right now running uh, two volts within two hundredths of a volt. Let's go ahead and take her up full scale. There's full scale, that would be um, 4 volts, and I am reading right now 3.96 volts. So, you know, if I was to touch that up, you could easily, uh, easily correct that. So there's 4 volts, let's go ahead and take ourselves to 2 volts per division. Check the zero quickly. And there we are at two divisions, like just like we should have been. And we raise that up to um, four divisions. And 
Four divisions, uh, two volts per division, that's eight volts, and we are running 7.96 volts. So we've done that, and then finally we go to five volts. Uh, okay, we're at five volts uh, per division, and we have just zeroed. Let's go ahead and uh, bring her on, and we've adjusted for full scale. We're achieved full scale, so that's 5 times 4 is 20 volts, and we are running 19.99, so... Okay, folks, the point is um, we've been able to read the voltages accurately uh, and display them accurately on the division scale, so... So we know we can read the voltages. If we can get our time base right and we provide a, a linear... Uh, uh, ramp signal, then we know that we're able to read our voltages in between. Uh, we're faithfully reproducing the signals as they come in. So let's uh, let's check our time base at a couple of other speeds and see how we do. If I drop my time base uh, to 0 0.1 microseconds per division, then at two mega cycles, we're, we're going to see two full traces. So here's one trace, two full traces. If I go two microseconds, we should see four. We do. If we go 0.5 microseconds, we'll get ten traces. We're going to get a, a full cycle in each division. And as you can see here, Right on the division lines, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're displaying 10 cycles uh, in 10 divisions at 0.5 microseconds. That's, that's a 2 megahertz signal at this speed. So we are, our time base is accurate. And if I was to uh, drop my, uh, my frequency here, now let's do it this way. We'll drop it to 200 kilohertz. All right. We're running 0 0.2006 megacycles. That's 200 kilohertz. And as we see, we've once again got one cycle in a uh, 10 division screen. And we are right now at 0.5 microseconds. So we are uh, calibrated time base wise accurately. Uh, we are displaying um, in, our, in our lowest millivolt scale a linear, uh, a linear trace. So we're doing exceptionally well so far. Let's uh, go down to one microsecond per division. Well, at 200 kilohertz, we're going to get two full cycles in 10 divisions. And if we go to two microseconds per, we're going to get four cycles. If we go to five microseconds per division, then we're once again getting 10, 10 cycles in our 10 divisions, one cycle per every full division. And we are linear. Uh, we have held our um, our full vertical range, and we see a linear trace, so we are linear in between the minimum and the maximum. Um, okay, I am running 10 microseconds per division now, and I should be getting 20. I'm getting two cycles per every single division, so there's 20... 20 peaks across the screen right now, and at this point, uh, I might as well drop our uh, frequency once again because uh, it's getting hard to display. All right, let's uh, at 10 microseconds per division. I'd like to have um, 100 kilohertz to get a one cycle display across the entire 10 division range and if I adjust my frequency of 
Okay, I'm now running 10 kilohertz. Forgive me, I think I said 100 a minute ago. It's 10 kilohertz at this uh, frequency. 10 kilohertz at 10 microseconds per division. 10 divisions is a 100 microseconds. Uh, 10 kilohertz is going to give me the one cycle. And there it is, just as we predicted. If we go um, 20 microseconds, we display two peaks now. If we go 50 microseconds, we get five. If we go to 0.1 millisecond, there is now again the 10 cycles and 10 divisions. Okay, we've dropped our frequency down uh, to 0 0.001 megahertz. Um, in fact, we're going to change our range now so that it's easier to see. We're at 1 kilohertz, 1,000 cycles, and we are at the 0 0.1, 0 0.1 uh, millisecond range per division. There are 10 divisions across there, so we are uh, 10 times 0.1, that's 1 millisecond across the screen, um, which would be a 1,000 hertz signal to display one cycle across the screen, and there we are. So we are displaying our time base accurately, and uh, we are linear uh, at this frequency as well. If I drop to 0.2 milliseconds per division, we get two linear uh, triangle waves shown on there. And uh, 0.5, I get 5. Uh, I go to 1 millisecond per division, I get 10 traces displayed on the screen. 2 milliseconds per division, I'm now getting 20. And... All right, we are now running a 0 0.0999, that'd be a 0.1 kilohertz signal. 0.1 kilohertz would be 100 hertz. And we are running at the one millisecond per division uh, scale in the time base. And we are displaying one cycle in 10 divisions. Um, if we're at one millisecond per division in 10 divisions, that's 10 milliseconds. 10 milliseconds is uh, 100 hertz. So yes, our time base is accurate and we're displaying a nice linear trace. We're doing well. And we'll, uh, if we go to two milliseconds, we get two traces displayed. Five milliseconds, we get five. 10 milliseconds, we get 10 traces displayed across the screen. Uh, 20, we get 20, and you can you can tell there's 20 there. There's two in every uh, two in every division, but it does get hard to tell now at this point. And 50 would be relatively impossible. So because our we don't have uh, enough absorption in the phosphor to hold the, uh, the image long enough for you to see what's there. But we've done it, uh, provided a, uh, a linearity check, uh, our vertical scale, our time base is accurate. The scope is working. It's working very well. Now that's on uh, the channel A, channel 1. If I go to channel 2, 